Yeah, so I'm into um, detailing quite a bit, but it's a luxury boat. And what I realized is the top railing, there would have been a top railing on this boat, especially where the passengers are. And so I'm putting top railings on all of these, and I'm putting a top railing on this white here as well to give it more of a classic. I'm also making it a, a dark wood like they used to be in the olden days. But it does give it a better kind of feel like a proper ship. And, you know, what I do is I take one of the sticks that I bought down the dollar store and split it in half and clean it off and round it a little and then try to pop. See, and I'm putting wires around to hold it in place to bend it a little. Taking a little bit of time, but it will be worth it. So, you know, all in the details. And we'll keep detailing, I think, for this whole week and next week and see what we end up with. So I'm going to go back and make another two strips and I show you I'm halving with the Dremel which is a lot easier than doing it with a knife. So each stick is uh, six millimeter wide so I'm just halving them by going three and there's three and then I just put a little pin mark in them, prick mark, all the way down. And they get a little, little pop marks so I can see them when I'm using the Dremel. That was better. The end was better. Yeah, so I'm finding using the Dremel and just centering on the spots and staying center of the stick without the pins is the best for me. It might be better another way for somebody else. But, you know, I'm getting fairly good ones. This one's really good. And this one's not bad up to here about. So, I'm getting better at it. I'm going to do one more. And I'm going to start putting them on again. So, I spent most of the day putting on these railings here. The upper railing to the cabins and this lower one and this front bow. And on the other side I have it done back to the back as well. But now I have to do something here because I mean this area here doesn't have anything, no railings in that. So I might have to put a pin to make an upper railing here, just a little higher than that. But it looks more like the boat, I mean a luxury boat would have a top teak railing on it. So I have to keep, you know. Try to keep in standing with everything that they did in those days. I'm still cleaning this mast up a bit here. There was a breakage here. I hit this by accident. And I had to fix this clamp here. But only a small, and this broke here a little bit. But there was a small accident, so it's not too bad. And I got these little wires clamped around the railing to keep it in, and some pins to bend it in. And by tomorrow morning, it should be pretty dry. I can take those off. Give it a little fire in the cleanup. So that's basically what I've been doing all today and most likely all tomorrow. Most likely be a two or three day job just getting these railings on. And I've done the test on the epoxy on these railings here and tomorrow we'll see how they did and whether they're that's you know a way you can make your railings in the future. So it's time to have a cup of tea and pack it in for tonight. Tomorrow's another day. Yeah, so I cleaned these up to this morning and took the wires off. And I still have this back half round here to do. And down here there is nothing. And you know, there would be a railing, so I have to build something here as well. It's a little strange. So that's the uh, two things on my agenda today. I put some glazing, uh, epoxy glazing on this and it did drip down in here. Not too sure how I'm going to get that off yet, but it actually dripped down to the enemy kind of a little cave there, so you have to do it flat. I put a little motor on here and a piece of chain running in for the anchor. An old necklace, uh, old, um, you know, necklace chain that I had laying around. And so those two have been done. I've repaired the um, 
mast up here where I broke it and filed it off a little. So a lot of that's quite good. And I'm not too sure whether this needs wood or not. I most likely will, I'll see. Because the rest of it has wood because this is just popped out on me as you can see. We do have little minor things that happen to us, you know. I've brought this in here. Sanded, the, file, I filed this round. I used a, just so you know, I take a little file and give it a clean and then maybe use a sandpaper. As you can see, it's got a nice round edge and it may look like a railing when you're up close. I've been cleaning the bottom here quite a bit. So we're coming along nicely now. Getting to the last little bit of details, maybe a couple of flags and that. 